Good morning students. Today we shall understand the differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Students, I have already explained photosynthesis and respiration in detail. So it is very easy now for you to make out the differences. Let us do it. So in photosynthesis, what is happening? Glucose is made from carbon dioxide and water using sunlight as energy. So plants are making glucose here using carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. In respiration, what is happening? Glucose is broken down to carbon dioxide and water. So here it is made, here it is broken down. So that is the difference. Then photosynthesis is an anabolic process. What is anabolic process? It is a process in which bigger molecules are made from small molecules. So here glucose is made from simple molecules called carbon dioxide and water. So it is anabolism. It is an anabolic process. Now the opposite is catabolic process. Respiration is a catabolic process where the bigger molecules are broken down to simpler substances. See glucose is broken down to carbon dioxide and water. So it is breaking process. This is making process. Making process is anabolic. Breaking process is catabolic. Got it? Now Photosynthesis requires sunlight. So this process requires sunlight, right? Yes. Does this respiration require sunlight? No. So because it requires sunlight, it takes place only during daytime. Because it is independent of sunlight, it takes place day and night. So we have to respire day and night independent of the presence of light or not. Right? So this takes place day and night. Now, photosynthesis takes place only in green plants. So, only green plants will perform photosynthesis because chlorophyll is required, right? And chlorophyll is present only in green plants. But what about respiration? Respiration takes place in all living organisms, including non-green plants. Even non-green plants which don't have chlorophyll, they have to respire. Every living organism, if the organism is living, it has to respire. That's it. Next, photosynthesis. Where does it occur inside cells? It occurs in chloroplasts. What about respiration? It takes place in cytoplasm and mitochondria. If you consider aerobic respiration, that is what is happening in most of the organisms. No? So, it occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria. Now, in photosynthesis, oxygen is liberated and carbon dioxide is consumed. Right students, plants are taking carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. But in respiration, reverse is happening. Carbon dioxide is liberated and oxygen is consumed. So oxygen breaks down the glucose into carbon dioxide. So oxygen, carbon dioxide is liberated and oxygen is consumed. Now photosynthesis is endothermic and needs input energy. So photosynthesis to happen, energy is required. Where from that energy is coming? Sunlight. So without sunlight, photosynthesis does not occur. But here, respiration does not require any energy. It happens spontaneously inside the cell. Actually, it is exothermic. It does not need any input energy, but it liberates energy. Here, it needs energy and produces the storage food material glucose. Got it? So this is endothermic. This is exothermic. Then finally, you can write the equations also under the differences. See here, carbon dioxide reacts with water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives rise to glucose, water and oxygen. Now, what is happening here? Glucose reacts with oxygen and is broken down to carbon dioxide, water and energy. Almost similarity is there in the equation, except water is not there here. Got it? So, these are the differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Got it, students? I hope you got it. Thank you.